And in fact, near as we could figure, he just kept seeming to try and be as disruptive as he possibly could to the campaign. And that's not how to make friends, you know, at a Dungeons and Dragons game. Don't disrupt the game. Don't try to be disruptive. Don't try to ruin the Game Master's game. And by extension of that, the fun everybody else is having. Mm. Ah, it's Grandpa. Thank you, young whippersnappers! I couldn't leave because the church was filled with monsters. That's terrible. Yay, Grandpa's back! Quest complete! <clears throat> 14 gold, XP, nice, nice. What else have we got going on? Travel collecting um well before we head back on the main quest let's do this satchel of gems thing deliver something chance to blah body blah <clears throat> enchanter can you deliver this to sunset cast king he might know what to do with it all right enchanter sure why not Take the satchel and deliver it to Sunset Castle King, and travel back to Default Village. Fair enough. To the castle! Three gold, small price to pay. We're being attacked along the way. I don't know if this is part of the quest or what. <clears throat> Party is being attacked. Protect the gem satchel. Fair enough. Um, you vanish up. Oh, wow. This guy said hard. Um, hmm. Keep working on that one. You make sure they stop hitting so hard. You bring the pain. Now, flowers. Can you finish that off with a double strike? No, but you do quite a bit of damage. A lot more than our fighter. Not bad. Okay, how do you do with a smite? Pretty good. Bring some more pain with the meteor. Flowers. Try your double strike. Very, very nice. Okay, and let's just start slapping this guy around the ears with our wands, daggers, pillows, whatever we have handy. Victory! Oh, we got an HP pot. Nice. 20 gold. And we all leveled up. Okay, let's handle level ups first. <clears throat> I think I still want taunt up. Yeah, let's keep bringing that up. For now. What else have we got here? What's the restoration at? 35. Weekend's doing pretty well right now. Smite's just something extra to do. Let's bring up Restoration, because it only does 35. You've got 30, 53 health. So it's not exactly the full heal we might want it to be at the moment. 45, that's better. Mm. Meteor, of course. More Meteor. And you got one, one, and one. Let's keep bringing up guys, blessing, shall we? And 
Your vanish is at five. Double step. Let's bring some more vanish up, shall we? More critical chance. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right. Take the satchel and deliver it to Sunset Castle King and travel back to Default Village. Yeah, yeah, continue traveling. Oh, wait, no, close. Um, where's the king? 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 What's this? Okay. Oh, 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 did we bring it to him? Does he have it now? Oh, I thought we talked to him. Apparently not. Let's go back. Nothing new. Maybe a quest completed, I don't know. Oh, yes. You're back. Thanks for your help. It was kind of easy. We just spent a couple of gold traveling and that's all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But we got 15 gold back, so we made a profit and we got some XP. I won't complain about that. Hey, and we're level 10. That's kind of cool. Now, what do we got here? There's that one. We can't do those. Okay, back on the main quest, it seems. Give this a start. Go to Journey Village. Alrighty. Where is Journey Village? Here, apparently. Seven gold to travel. Okay. I guess we do have to cut through a forest and everything. So it's like further than we've got before. Quest done! You're on the right path. More gold than we spent getting here. And a lot more XP. Nice. Uh, collect sand roses. Slay cactuses. Deliver an almighty weapon. Don't think we're high enough level for that. Uh, let's do this sleigh thing. Is that villager a German shepherd? What? I, from a certain angle, it kind of looks like that villager is a German shepherd. Am I crazy? Let's not dwell on it, then. Hello, travelers. Will you help us on a task? That, we're adventures. That's kind of what we do. It's quite easy. All you need to do is battle a few monsters. Sure, why not? Deal with some desert monsters. Okay, we need to kill seven cactuses. Alrighty, battle. How tough is that? Um, let's go for four and three, since it starts to get a little more difficult around four. So we'll start. Let's try something new, like cactuses. Okay, I'm gonna hit this one here. Ooh, these things hit hard. Damn. Um. Plan of attack, plan of attack. Plan of attack, plan of attack. Um. No, vanish. Get gone, flowers. You, drop the meteor. You, regen the fighter. 
good, good. You weaken these ones. Fighter regenerates through the druid's magic and through her own ability of taunt and then attacks this one. Gets attacked quite a bit, but most of them are weakened now. Good, good. Flowers. Um, start working these ones over with your double strike, would you? Bring down the meteor. Nice. Finish that one off. Okay. Seems easy now. Our fighter was getting her ass handed to her there for a second. Now we should be able to finish them. Just some bopping. There we go. That was scary for a moment, but it all worked out. All right. Deal with some desert monsters, please. All right, three more coming right up. Start. Suddenly. Okay. Flowers, just like before, get gone. You just slap the middle one. Uh, they're all going to slap into you. That's okay. Our druid is going to regen you. Mage is going to bring down a meteor. And then other best spell in the game, weaken to make sure these things aren't challenge. Flowers, you can start double striking. Warrior, I hope you take it out. And I don't think we're in any danger. Once that weaken gets down, we can take care of them at our leisure, pretty much. It's important to get one down still kind of quick, though, because weaken doesn't last forever. Although, thankfully, I took Hanks as the cleric because that whole plus one round of weaken, I think, really helps us out. Now, rest. Why don't we just turn in the quest, actually, Master Splinter? Quest done! I bet it was quite fun! Okay, thank you. You, you can rhyme. What now? Now they want us to collect things. Eight, collect. I guess collecting the sand roses is the only thing we're actually at the right level for. Master Splinter suggested we rest though. They're like an inn in town? Yeah, sure. Might as well rest up while you got an inn. Okay, let's kill something. Good thoughts, yellow mage druid. That's a... Oh, I get it. He's multi-classed. D&D players will know what I'm talking about there. Maybe old school, because actually I don't know if multi-class is a thing anymore. Dual class is still a thing, though. In, like, 4th ed... I don't know, is there a 5th ed? I'm sorry, I was an advanced 2nd ed person, so... Whatever. Let's take care of this Collecting Sand Roses quest. You look around and find something to do in Journey Village. Roll! Apparently we succeeded, maybe? You spot a woman that... Oh, he was rolling. It was like... Roll in like... Star. Roll. Star. You know. 
he was rolling to see if we found anything, I guess. You spot a woman that has a certain sadness on her face. You try talking to her to see what is going on. Hey, woman. Could you tell us what happened? You look sad. I don't know why I had flowers just shout at her. <laughs> Hello, adventurer. It is my brother. He was killed a while ago. That's very sad. There's a mage that everyone says is trying to perform a forbidden ritual. It looks like this is a part of the ritual. Killing your brother? That's... terrible. Anyway, he loved those sand roses that uh, spread all over the sands of Time Desert. And I can't really gather any of them because it's too dangerous. I believe we can do that for you. Collect sand roses at the Sands of Time Desert. Yes, Master Splinter. So we just go out here. Nice. Yeah, we're traveling around a lot. Um, why is this a main quest, though? Maybe that woman has, like, special information for us. Five sand roses. Battle. Hmm. Moving dunes. Ten level eight. I guess we'll try fighting the moving dunes. Let's fight three at a time. Nah, four at a time. Four at a time, it'll be fine. Cheats won't help. Alright. Don't know if I believe you. Let's get you... Vanished. Oh, wow, they hit like a... Well, it's not so bad, actually. Yeah, I take that back. That wasn't so bad. You weaken these ones. You drop a meteor on them. You double strike the unweakened one, please. Um, what do you need to do? Might be best if you just regenerate yourself, come to think of it. And... Smack that one. Bring down another meteor. Even though they're resistant, it's still doing quite a bit of damage, it looks like. Flowers, bring that double strike in. With them being magic resistance, it seems a little hard to uh, get them down very quick. Slam them with a, another meteor. Still speeding things along. We don't want them to uh, get unweakened. That's for sure. Alrighty. Tough customers. Oh, we got almost all the sand roses we need, though. Hmm. Tough one. Uh, battle. Add, add, add. I think we only need three this time. We'll start. Smacking one. Let it know who's in charge. Bring up the MP of the party. Flowers, you get gone. Uh, 
Oh, you still don't have enough MP for a meteor drop. You surely have enough MP for a weaken, though. That should give us all the time we need. Still, though, give us some more MP. Dual strike. Yeah, way to finish that off, flowers. Good job, girl. Meteor. What's a smite do to these guys? Just in case I need to fight them. Not much. Bloody good to know. Flower seems to be the way to take these things down. Her double strike seems to be quite effective. <clears throat> Other than that, we weaken them and we slap them around a bit. Flower, speed this up a little. Then we just kabonk him on the head. Kabonk! Two Sandrosis. Nice. Journey back to the village. Let's give this woman the four of gold to travel. Alright. For her brother's grave, she needs the roses. You did it! Thank you so much. It wasn't hard at all. No, it wasn't that hard. You have some difficulty finding the woman's brother's grave. The description she gave you was not good enough. Maybe you should look in the sands of time desert. Place the sand roses, the woman's brother's grave. Um, okay. We'll give it a shot. Five gold to travel? Bloody hell. Your party is being attacked. Protect the sand roses. Oh, wow. It, it's one of those dune worms. It's a worm from dune. It's not good. Um, Guy's Blessing. Ooh, flowers, you're hurt. Get gone. Uh, what's a meteor do to a dune worm? Ooh, pretty good, actually. Hey, all just leaving this message at the end of my vids now to make sure even if this vid isn't the end of a set, y'all get a big thank you for watching. Seriously, really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day, spend with me and watch as I play games for you. I'd also like to take time to remind you, if you have any feedback, good or bad, I would love to read about it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the vid you watched, it mean a lot to me if you'd hit that like button and let me know. For those that aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that sub button, see more content in the future. One last time, big thank you for watching. Till the next vid, may the force be with you.